Hi, this is Richard Saunders with Alpha Militaria TV. Thanks once again for tuning in to see uh, what we're up to. Um, now, I've got on the bench today uh, a very well-known rifle uh, and a hugely respected rifle, an award-winning rifle, in fact. Um, it comes from British company uh, Air Arms, and it is the Ultimate Sporter R, standing for regulated. Um, now, this is the 12 foot pound version, which is actually sold as a carbine. Um, it's 1,010 millimeters long, also just over a meter. Weighs uh, between 3.3 and 3.4 kilos, depending on which uh, stock version you have. Um, there's this walnut stock, which I have to say is very nice. Uh, there's also a black uh, soft touch stock and um, a laminar stock in uh, greys and browns and blacks, which is really is a, a beautiful stock and probably the one that most people associate the Ultimate Sporter with. Um, now then, um, this rifle, the, the regulated version, was uh, introduced in August 2018 and is sold alongside an unregulated version of the Ultimate Sporter as well. And there are also a couple of um, uh, FAC versions. There's the Ultimate Sporter um, XS and the Ultimate Sporter XS Extra. Uh, and the Extra, um, the main difference being with the Extra is that it has a slightly larger tube uh, and therefore offers uh, a few more shots. Now, um, in um, 12 foot pound guys, um, the Ultimate Sporter R will give you around about 90 shots in 177 and 120 shots um, in 2.2. Uh, in two -two. And that is um, quite a significant increase um, over the un unregulated model, which will give you about 60 shots in 177, around about 90 in 2.2. Two. So you're looking about sort of a, a third to a quarter more shots as a result of this regulated action. Now, <coughs> as I've said before, for those of you who don't understand or know what a regulator is, um, it's basically a, um, a secondary air chamber. So think of it like um, the uh, optic on a bottle of whiskey in a pub. Um, the, uh, the, op the, the regulator takes a very uh, specific volume of air from the main cylinder, stores it under very specific pressure and uses that for each shot. Um, so as a result of that, each shot is very consistent uh, and you also get more shots per air fill because it's just a more um, uh, efficient way of shooting. And regardless of the amount of air you've got in the main cylinder, um, you'll still be getting those consistent shots because of the, the, the regulator and the consistent pressure in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move from the, uh, the back of the rifle through to the front as usual, and then we'll zoom in on a few of the finer details to show them uh, in a little bit more close up. Now starting at the back, you have this um, three-way adjustable um, butt pad. Um, you slacken off a, a screw in the back here and that gives you movement up and down, side to side as well. Uh, it really gives you excellent shoulder fit. And then on top, with another um, Allen bolt just around on this side, um, you can adjust the cheek piece up and down. So the combination of the, the butt pad and the cheek piece really gives you very good shoulder fit uh, and also good um, eye alignment for the scope. Uh, now the scope itself is um, um, mounted on um, 11, 11 millimeter uh, raised dovetail rail uh, and there's plenty of room um, for you to move the scope forward and back to get good eye relief. The magazine does sit a little bit proud of the action but not too proud um, and you can get yourself uh, nice and low to the barrel um, down here with, um, with your scope. Um, the pistol grip is uh, checkered on both sides, um, very nice quality, more like stippling actually than checkering. Um, and there is a, um, a thumb shelf up here so that you can um, shoot with your thumb up or you can wrap your thumb around quite comfortably as well. There are uh, patches of stippling on both sides of the forend as well. And the forend itself has a groove up here and another one here which makes it nice and comfortable. And I really like the fact that the, the forend um, is actually quite long. It almost comes to the very end of the cylinder, the air cylinder. Uh, and gives the rifle that um, sporting rifle kind of look. And then at the very end of the cylinder, um, if you unscrew this cap here, um, you have the uh, the fill port. And we'll go through how to fill the, uh, the Ultimate Sporter R in just a little while. 
and I should say that underneath here, where is it? Underneath here, you have the um, the pressure gauge as well, uh, and we'll go through that in some more detail as well. So the action itself, um, the the R10 is a uh, is a side lever. Um, the side lever is nice and smooth. Um, it shuts with a very definite click. Um, I know it's not sprung, um, but it does move very, very positively through a first stage and then the second stage is a nice defined movement as well. The gun is empty, but I'll just fire this off to uh, get rid of that. Okay. Now, the, um, the side lever operates a 10-shot magazine. Um, which, fit, which enters into the rifle from the left hand side and we'll look at that in a second or two as well. And the barrel is a 395mm uh, match grade Lothar Wolfer barrel. Um, you know, renowned the world over for some of the best barrels and, and certainly um, when paired with the, um, the Ultimate Sporter R's um, action it makes for a very uh, accurate setup. And then right at the very end you have this um, integrated or uh, yeah, integrated silencer, which is uh, Air Arms own QTEC designer silencer, and that works extremely well as well. Right, just to move back, um, the trigger is uh, is two stage and fully adjustable. Um, <clears throat> and I have to say, out of the box, I found this really, really crisp. Um, the the two stages are very, very defined. Um, you're left in no doubt whatsoever when you've reached the second stage and when you just apply that a little bit more pressure um, it really lets off nice and crisply and very very uh, predictably as well. Okay so I think that's the, those are the main points um, on the rifle. Let's just zero in on a few of those uh, those fine details. Right let's talk a little bit more about the, uh, uh, the Ultimate Sporter R's magazine system. So the magazine is removed by first pulling back on the side lever and pulling the magazine out from the left hand side. Now it's a cartridge magazine and you don't have to, it's not sprung in any way um, and it doesn't matter which way you turn it. Um, all you simply have to do is fill the holes up with, uh, with pellets um, and they just drop in nose first, revolve the magazine either clockwise or anti-clockwise, whichever you prefer. Now it takes 10 shots in both 177 and 22. Now while I'm doing this I should tell you about the safety catch because I forgot that before. The safety catch on the Ultimate Sporter um, R is located actually within the trigger blade itself. Now I'll be honest it's not my favorite place for, for a trigger, uh, for, for a safety catch to be anywhere near the trigger. Um, but it is undeniably easy to operate and very accessible. Uh, and very quiet as well. Okay so that's our 10 pellets in the magazine. Now you do need to be a little bit careful because they will kind of fall out um, if you're not careful. Um, so just bear that in mind. Now to insert into the breech, again pull the side lever fully back and then with the, the back of the pellets facing you and there's quite a handy little sort of um, ridged um, section here to help you put the magazine in the, in, in, in the dark. You simply put it in from the left, push it fully forward and then return the safety, uh, return the side lever. Now to run through the filling process for the, uh, for the Ultimate Sporter, <clears throat> because it's a little bit different, not, a, not hugely different, but just a little bit different. So to expose the, um, the fill port, you have to unscrew um, this collar on the front here uh, to, re to re uh, reveal the fill valve. Now in your pack you'll get this um, um, fill um, adapter here. Um, now what I've done is I've got one in age-old tradition that I've prepared earlier that I've fitted to a quick fit um, fitting. Now the Air Arms filling system is a little bit different because um, You've got to put the adapter over the end of the uh, of the valve, and then turn it in this little slot here. Then once you've done that, it's just a simple case of um, applying your uh, your air supply, and then giving it a a 200 bar fill. Um, 
is what I use. There's no actual indication on the um, on the rifle itself, but it does tell you in the in the handbook. So once you've done that, remove your uh, your airline. Just turn that uh, uh, adapter around again to free it off of that uh, off of that slot. Then replace the collar, and then hopefully you can see here. Underneath you've got the um, the pressure gauge itself, which tells you obviously what your fill pressure is. Um, now I should say there's no separate gauge uh, for the uh, for the regulator, just one gauge for the overall fill pressure. Right, well that's all the chat. Let's uh, put some pellets in and see how it shoots. Wow, well that's just one hole. We're going to have a look at the target in a second. Now I keep forgetting things that I should have told you about before. There's so many things on this gun. Um, so another piece of information just to pass on is that the Ultimate Sporter R has uh, an, an integrated um, accessory rail. Hope you can see that just underneath here um, that you can use to um, attach a, a bipod or a torch or any other kind of accessory. Really nice feature that. Oh yeah. So that's um, get it in shot. Uh, that's ten shots um, through um, through that uh, one hole tire, uh, one hole group. There, it's probably one pellet that's hit a little bit high just there, uh, and that's at twenty five meters with Air Arms uh, Diablo field pellets, uh, one seven seven caliber. Um, it really goes to show that the combination of that trigger, um, the adjustable butt pad, the adjustable um, uh, shoulder piece, as, uh, uh, cheek piece as well, really does set you up nicely to be able to exploit uh, the regulated accuracy in the Ultimate Sporter R. Well, I hope you found that informative um, and helpful. Um, the Ultimate Sporter, uh, in the, indeed the entire as, um, uh, air arms range it kind of fills that gap between you know without doubt this is an absolutely is a premium end rifle it's got all the features and functionality and performance uh, of rifles that cost um, you know, several hundreds of pounds more um, and yet this this model uh, retails for between I think it's about 11 1200 pounds maybe a little bit more um, you know which when you're looking at other rifles that cost 15 16 hundred pounds or even more you know, it's tremendous value for money it really is um, well as I say hope you found that useful if you did um, please give us a like um, it does help us out um, if you want to you can subscribe to our channel as well um, which will make sure that you get a notification of, of all of our new videos and if you'd like more information about the uh, air arms range uh, or about air gunning topics in general please take a look at our website alphamilitary.com and I'll see you next time thanks for watching